Hey guys, welcome back to the Joe Jaguar Show. Today I have the Takahashi 102 TSA. We're not gonna test anything today, not optically anyway. We're going to see if the focuser that I did, the Franken scope, can even focus, okay? Anyway, it is a freezing January, and depending when I put this out, welcome back. The west guy is mid cloudy-ish. I can still see the quarter moon, and Jupiter and the, the east guy is mostly clear-ish, but it's the first day in almost three weeks that it's clear, so I'm gonna take advantage of this. Again, we're not gonna test this guy optically. What I wanna see, I wanna show you guys. Do you guys remember? Okay, so here's the original focuser right there. And because it doesn't have the fine focusing, I attached, I was able to attach a William Optics, and this guy is buttery smooth. Uh, William Optics SCT focuser, I was able to get it, but it is pretty long now. So I actually just want to see, okay, will it come to focus? Again, rough focus with this guy and this guy but this only has uh not too much like a two two inch travel or so so uh i'll probably mostly focus with the main focuser and then i can find focus i just want to see can it come to focus with it being so long uh, i'll let you guys uh, take a quick guess right now and then we'll see I'm just going to put like a 32 millimeter Super Palazzo uh, Mead 4000, nothing fancy, nothing great, just okay ish. Because again, we're not testing optics today. Uh, we're just testing to see can this focus with this configuration? Okay, first let me balance this guy. Perfect. I almost have to go to the bottom. Now it hasn't even cooled down at all. Wow, this guy's really, really too high. So I'm gonna lower it. Okay. So it's a lot lower now. Perfect, I think. Might as well use the finder scope since it's already on. And if it's aligned, should be right there. And okay, I see it. So, wow, today's seeing is, I'm not sure if I can say that. I need more in focus. It's close. It's probably like a quarter of an inch or less. So I can't go anymore. Hmm, so we're on the moon and it's not coming to focus. I need about a quarter inch or so, maybe even slightly less. I can see the, I can almost see the craters, but it's kind of like a mushy. I don't know, I wonder, just a thought, if I use a tele-negative lens, Varno, will that help focus? I have no idea if it's going to work or not, but I'm willing to give it a try since we're out here already in the cold. Why not give it a shot? Or is it gonna make focusing even way further? So, no, that did not help. It made it uh, further. So, you know what I'm gonna try? You know when it's this cold, it's really hard to uh, Use your fingers. 
Now, can I use, I'm gonna try to take the lens out and just try to attach it to the bar. Give me a second. Okay, let's put this on. Now, bare hands. I don't want to regret it for too long. Okay, see the move? Still there. And, haha, it worked. Nice and sharp. Okay, so now I can use the Takahashi focuser to get close. And then I can use the 10 to 1 William Optics one. Oh, yeah. Really good. Okay, even though seeing is not that great today, and it's hazy on that side, that's pretty good of the moon. Now, let me see, can I pump up the power? So first, I'm just gonna try a 4.7 millimeter by itself, see if it focuses. Nope, does not focus. Oh, very, very close. Okay, even with this one eyepiece, it needs less than maybe an eighth of an inch to focus. So I'm gonna put this two times borrow the bottom of the lens only on and see if it reaches focus, but it's also gonna amplify it more. Yep, it works. Okay, so it does kind of work. So I was using the Mead two times tele extender, the 5000 series Barlow, and eyepieces by itself does not come into focus. When you use the Barlow with the eyepiece, no matter which, you know, in as a regular, it does not focus. But if you just use the bottom of the lens and you screw it under, it does focus. But again, remember you're multiplying or you're powering it up even closer. So if you want wide field, low power, it's not gonna work in this Frankenstein configuration. So unfortunately, maybe for high powers it can work, but now that I know it doesn't really work except for high power, it's probably only on the planets, um, I gotta consider maybe just leaving it on or, or whatever, using it to the time being, or um, do I just try to get a dual speed focuser for the Takahashi again, or do I just leave it as is? Anyway, I guess that's it for today. If you guys like looking at high powered views of the planets and you don't want to spend, you know, seven to a, 700 to a thousand dollars to get a dual speed on something like this, or if you have something similar, um, you could go this route, which is something like the SCT. Uh, Crayford focuser and if it works then that's great you can probably again I, I, I have seen them on the used market for about $95 Canadian so I think that's about 60 something American so it's not very cheap to get a dual focuser but you'll never get low power views out of it anyway I guess that's it for now anyway guys like comment and subscribe if you know anybody getting into the hobby, share my link or my channel with them. If you're on the forums and maybe somebody's asked about something like this, like how can I make my telescope have a dual speed uh, focuser without spending much money, maybe you can share this link with them or any other link I have. And uh, that's it. I do have a members video, which means so far up to today's date and depending when you see this, four people on my members. So once a month, I put a video only for them. You don't have to join if you don't want to, but every little bit helps. It's only 99 cents a month. And um, you know, I, you'll see a video that no one else sees uh, or not on a regular channel. And um, that's it. Why not you, why not me?